Hey guys, Penguins Recordings here. Today I'm going to guide you on how to install Torchlight. Yep, that's right. Torchlight is now natively available for Linux. And it's come out from the latest Indie Humble Bundle. I think it's number 6. Here I have the installer. It's about 400 megabytes. First things first, go to Properties, Permissions, and then ensure that execute is ticked allowed now double click on it when it asks this click on the button run this is where the installer pops up here we are the installer press next to install torchlight all right, clicking on next. The end user license agreement is here. Read it through. It's always best to read it through. I like to read it later on. <laughs> I agree to this license agreement. You must tick this to continue. Hit next. By enabling this box, the installer will try to register the software in the system's package manager. This allows easy removal or upgrading. Definitely suggested. So, I will click Next, allowing it to register the software. It will install it into User Local Games. Alright, that's good to know. No need to change this unless you know what you're doing. Click Next. Click Next again. No need to change this as well unless you absolutely need to. This will install Torchlight. Of course, click on Continue. It will ask for your administrator password. This is probably because I chose to register the software into the uh, software management system. Okay, I'm going to type in my password. And I'm going to hit OK. Oh, this is really exciting. I didn't think Torchlight would ever come to Linux. As soon as I saw this, in the list of the Humble Indie Bundle games, ah, uh, I had to buy it. Impulse. Alright, skipping forward, we're now nearing the end of the installation. Just a little bit more. Alright, so we've come to the end of the installation of Torchlight. Installation of Torchlight is complete. Click OK. Click Next. A summary of the installation which is pretty cool and a finish button all right press return to close this window they mean press or oh, click enter so I clicked enter the installation is done all right so now that we have torchlight installed I did a test run just now and there is a problem it tries to go full screen but does not properly go full screen and so I get stuck in between the game and Unity. So to fix that, in case you guys have the same problem, is you go to your home folder, you go to the top left under view, click on show hidden files, and under show hidden files we are going to look for runic games folder. Dot runic dot r dot r okay dot r dot runic games double click there's torchlight double click it again we are now in the game directory well I'm going to edit the local settings double click initially the local settings the full screen was set to one you do not want that initially you want to change it to zero to make sure the game works properly. I changed it to 0 and it works fine. Changing it to 1 is not a good idea. Alright, so we've changed it to 0. I'm going to test run if it works or not. Moment of truth. see my mouse icon alright there you have it 
Torchlight works in windowed mode, but the settings are maybe they can be changed here, but I fear it. I'll give it a try. I want to change the resolution slightly higher, just to 1024 times 768. Apply it. The game restarts. Does this work properly? Let's find out. Yes, it works properly. This is wonderful. Alright, let's take a sneak peek preview at Torchlight running on Ubuntu! Ah, oh, yeah. I'm gonna make a new character. Let's see. Destroyer, Vanquisher, Alchemist. Hmm. I think I'll choose Destroyer. My pet. A ferret. Oh, I like that. Ferret. Mr. Macho. My name will be. Hmm, my name will be. Munchkin. Munchkin and Mr. Macho. Alright. I'll test it on normal, I guess. Yeah, I'll give it on normal. Loading screen. Does it work? Does it work? We'll find out. I have always been a wanderer. I have roamed these lands for as long as I can remember. But my blades always lead me back to conflict. When I heard of the evils befalling Torchlight, I returned from the wilderness. Tales of madness, townsfolk slain or missing, and a darkness okay, blah, 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 blah. rising from Continue. the deep. Welcome to the town of Torchlight. Explore the area by left clicking. Alright, jolly good. Hmm, not bad. I think I can up the graphics a little bit more though. It seems like there's no shadowing. That's not good. What the hell? I don't remember there being a horse in the Windows version. Blah 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 blah. I accept. You have gained a task. All right, certainly works. I'm my inventory, my pet. Don't have anything down my pet. What about my skills? Slash attack, Titan. Seems to be there, but where's my shadows? Let's see if we can fix that. Shadows is off, no wonder. Alright, I'll change it to very high. Anti aliasing is on. Puts on rim lights, I'm not sure what that is. Particle detail, I'm gonna put it on the high. Everything looks good. No need for netbook mode, I'm running a desktop. I'm gonna click apply. Can it run with these settings? Okay, there's the icon. That's something. Oh, looking a whole lot better already. I click continue. Mm, feed fish to your pet to turn them into creatures. <laughs> oh, well, there you have it. Looks like the, it works just nice. The shadows are on. Lighting is proper. anti aliasing I wonder if I can adjust the aliasing. It's not bad. It's not bad. I'm impressed. Didn't think it would work the first time around. Ah, oh, yeah. Well, guys, that's it. I'm going to give this game a run for its money. Thanks for watching.